The Balcony Show with your host Ann Thatcher, the Mad Cat, and Bo Summer. We have searched the globe for the best in indie music so you don't have to. Here we go, The Balcony Show. Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Balcony Show. Really excited for today's show. We have a Reverb Nation selectee, the Hawkeyes, coming on the show. Welcome, Mad Cat and Bo. Hello, Bo. Hello, Mad Cat. Hello, Dude Al. of awesomeness. No. He is awesome. Uh, most days, right before the sun comes up. So, <laughs> we chose the Hawkeyes, the three of us. Yes. Um, really love their music. They, and set, they set the bar that night. Oh, yeah, they, they mean, did. Was... They literally set the bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they did. We kept coming back to them. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you know. And uh, listening to more of their music, I'm even more excited about them coming on the show. But first, Thatch Tag. No. <laughs> I mm. love the Thatch Tag. Do so, you? I do. So do I, but. Whenever she says it that way yeah. and looks my direction. Oh, always. That oh, voice equals no, looking no, no, at you. No, no. Right. But yes. you're going to like this I agree. story. Oh, okay. Because you, you like this kind of thing. Just so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, ha- have you ever heard of a woman by the name of Leonardo Ciancelli? And no, I have not. Well, Leonardo is a very interesting soul. Because you know what Leonardo did? She killed her friends and made soap out of them and then gave the soap away. (laughs) Yeah, she sounds like some troubled chick that I would date, that's for certain. So uh, I'm thinking, I know I would like to have some orange soap on a rope. <laughs> wow. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's not go there. We're not going there. I'm just saying, but what a great... Come on, that's... You got to give it to the girl. I, you know. I mean, really? You're making soap out of bodies and then you're giving it away? Oh, here, darling. Do try the essence. Yeah. People are bathing with dead bodies. We'll call and this they one don't. the essence of man. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> God. Yeah. I mean, was, you know, that's going to wind up turning up my dreams tonight, too, because <laughs> this moron that you sit across the table and, and look at, <laughs> I keep falling, you know, I edit photos, and then I, while I'm editing photos, I'm watching cold case files. And then I wind up falling asleep with cold case files just kind of playing throughout the night. I don't recommend that to anybody. <laughs> My dreams have been so freaking out of the freaking world crazy right now. Because I've been buried alive. I've been oh chopped up in pieces. Oh, oh I don't you know, like that. The one, uh, the, the one night, it, um, th- my dream was I was, uh, and I'm a claustrophobe, and I'm in a box. And I oh. can't get out. And I'm yeah, banging and banging and banging. You know. Everybody's got a way. Yeah. Like, there's I, something. I Water? Underwater? No. No, nah, no. Nah. No, no. Like, that would be, like, my biggest fear would be able that I was underwater and you can see air. Oh, yeah. Ah. That freaks me out. But it's no, more I, air. It's just, it's <laughs> air. More air. Blah, 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 blah. I want to be cremated blah, 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 blah. because I do not want to be in a I'm box. I'm the same. Cause I, you know why? Cause I can't, I can't breathe. Yeah. Don't tell me you're dead. Yeah. I know I'm dead. I cannot breathe in the box. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll I, give you a I straw not, man all the way no. up to, or a bell. Did I they totally have the bell? Was it the bell? They, they used to, they used to put a bell on, yeah, because it was very common because they didn't really perform an autopsy. It's like ah. Uh, She's dead, or he's dead. Oh my god! Drop her in the box. Oh my god! I can't breathe. And then what would happen is, and that went a long way into fostering the vampire lore, (laughs) because for whatever reason they would have to exhume. At some point, they'd exhume a body. Your fingernails keep growing, but then they would see the, they'd see claw marks on the inside of these caskets, and they're just like, 
But then they <laughs> later figured out, once they got past vampire I... hysteria... That they were burying people alive. They I were think in a they coma. should have an interactive yeah. grave graveyard now, where you can like press a doorbell on the gravestones and ring bells in their caskets. <laughs> you can look it up. Actually, I think <laughs> I think this recent this happened again recently. I'm holding up my hair because I'm sweating because I can't breathe. Yeah. Ting, <laughs> ring my bell. You can ring my bell. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. oh, no, I, I, sent, I sent you guys that article that one time in the group. Remember the article yes. about the... Twice the, buried. Yeah. Twice yes, buried. Twice yeah, buried. yeah, yeah. And then ah, she shows up on the door and then the husband croaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That would be a little weird. Yeah. But, um, oh, right. hello, wife. Welcome back. So let's get <laughs> things started with this uh, really happening show. Absolutely. And we're going to... Yeah. Yeah, we're going to. It's a true story. Yeah, we're, gonna. we're gonna. Can't stop it. So we're gonna start with Dog Street from Roy and the Secret People. Take a listen and we'll be right back. Roll me a bone, baby, pull me a shot. Let the nightmares come, darling, let them run high. See you tonight after the show. show right now we have the song stones throw away by the hawkeyes which also we will have jay right here for an interview from the hawkeyes so sit down give it a listen and here we go
the balcony show he, I, I left <laughs> <laughs> she ran away you didn't know it uh really excited because we have the one of the selectees from reverb nation campaign one of the members from the hawkeyes jay on the phone with us welcome jay hello how's everyone doing out there i hope well we are doing pretty good up here in the old poconos we're trying we're really trying <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all trying, you know. It's like that's all we can do. How's things in Pittsburgh? It, you know, they're not as exciting as last year, but you know, I think that goes, you know, for pretty much the rest of the country. But I mean, it's you know, it's it's okay. It's cool. You know, we're you know we're improvising and innovating. You're doing you know? it. Yeah. Are you guys starting yeah. to see any live music? Starting to happen out by no, you guys? Just the couple driving shows, which we were lucky to do one of those back in June with the Clarks. Very uh, cool. I I was that's I cool. re- I've been reading a lot about those driving shows, and actually they're they're doing pretty well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're here to talk about your album Ever for After, and we just heard the, our our listeners heard your song Stones Throw Away. Do you want to tell them something about that? Um, about the song or the album? You you pick. We'll take both. Okay. We'll, take both. <laughs> <laughs> well, the album was just, it, it was a long time coming. It took us uh, about three years to, to get done just because we, 
um, you know, we started the band officially back in 2013 and we were more Americana rock and we, you know, just in like around 2016, uh, maybe more 2017, we, did, you know, we just decided to kind of sh- just move more towards the heart, you know, just some other influences that we have, like, uh, Foo Fighters and, uh, uh, Roy, uh Royal Blood and Shine Down and stuff like that, and, uh, and Black Rebel Motorcycle Club, and uh, so we we just decided to you know just write a whole batch of songs that you know that just kind of echoed those influences, and we came up with Ever for After, and we you know we got to work with this really great producer, our good friend and colleague uh, Sean McDonald in Pittsburgh at uh, Red Medicine Studios, and he really challenged us, and it was really hard and that's what we liked about it it was you know we really just love the love the process it and it you know it was well worth the wait it really was it, we really are very proud and of what we came up with i mean it's only seven songs but we just felt you know we wanted to put something out that we could just we felt could stand the test of time and you know get us up to that next level that every band wants to do when they release music right no doubt i mean that's definitely something that anybody would want to strive for especially you know especially when you got somebody uh like you said you know just driving you to to, you know to make it kick ass so that's really good and you definitely got our attention yeah 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 (laughs) so So in your bio one of the things that uh you said that you love movie quotes so, uh, give me one of your favorite movie quotes. We happen to have an actor on this team here. Oh, Jesus. oh well, one of my favorite movie quotes is from an old movie, um, and it's called, uh, it, uh, it's from Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Uh, I, I love the quote where he goes, kid, I got vision, the rest of the world wears bifocal. You know, <laughs> I... I love that quote. I don't know, it just cracks me up every time you know, I hear it. All I right, love that I'm going to give you one. Get busy living or get busy dying. That's from uh, Shawshank Redemption. See? Yeah, man. Oh, I love that That's movie. I love that quote. See? Love that movie, too. Yeah. Now, Jay, I think it should go without saying, and I got to ask this question, seeing how you're out there in Pittsburgh, are you a Steelers fan? Oh, yeah. All yes, right, that's yes, what's up. Another f- fellow Steelers <laughs> fan right here. You have now passed the Mad Cat. I'm not gonna lie. I was a l- I was a little nervous because you always fear the outcome. It's like you know because I had it happen once already. Fear yeah. the outcome. Right. Because yeah. you just assume it's like Pittsburgh. They're a Steelers fan, and then you have somebody look at you and go, "No, man, I like the Ravens. Get out of here." And you wouldn't want to be a wanted man, Jay. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nice. Come uh, on. <laughs> Very nice segue. This you... song is the bomb. Thank I you. I can see first of all, I, the lyric video for it is is really cool, but I can see why uh the biker nation would love this song. Just Oh yeah, they yeah. I mean, it's you know, bikers love it, but you know, like uh Everybody loves it. It's a straight up rock and roll like, song, it, man. It's, it, you know. It, it's really come across, you know, it's kind of, we, we very got, we got real lucky with how that came out. Um, but we painted a broad brush and we didn't even know that it was just really, we were just looking for something that would just, I mean, the word, the word we used was kick ass. That's like, what's going to just, what, you know, kick, let's kick some people in the ass, you know, like not you literally, did. but figured it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you did. It, um, so, who wrote the lyrics for this? Actually, believe it or not, um, a friend of mine wrote the verses. Um, he's from uh, Youngstown, Ohio. His name's Nick Liebeck. He was our first guitar player back in 2013. Um, he was only with the band a short time. Um, but he, him and I still talk, and we you know talk about music all the time. And, and he he just, he gave me this lyric sheet a while ago and I, I can't, I came up with the riff and I just, the lyrics were there and I, they just, I was like, no, let's see if these work. And I was like, this actually fit the mood, the attitude of the lyrics really fit with the eeriness that I wanted to put off with nice. the beginning. And then the, and then yeah, the people need to pay attention to the lyrics in this because, uh, there's, there's some dark stuff in this, uh, in, in this, 
song, but I'm not going to give it away. I think people need to listen <laughs> and pay attention. Yeah, that was exactly what we're going for, because we're also big fans of uh, Queens of the Stone Age, and I think they, they have that quality within their lyrical content, and also sonically as well. Right. So it's, it's something that we were just trying to go for there. All right, well, let's take a break right here and let our listeners hear this fantastic song because this is going to go download crazy. They're just, I know they're just going to love it. So we're going to take a listen to Wanted Man by the Hawkeyes and we'll be right back with the rest of the interview. If the devil's in the details, then the devil's always in this town. Not much more that you can say Explain the happenings All the happenings all around We got things we say And things we don't Ain't no sign Jay from the Hawkeyes. 
Uh, oh, man. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. That's all I want to talk about right now is Pittsburgh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Three- He's got a fellow brother in they're three and oh, here. you know what I mean? Tom Brady's out of New England. The Patriots are gone, and we got a kick-ass rock and roll band on the freaking horn here, and that is See? really awesome. Doesn't get any better than it that, doesn't. does it? Uh, so, out of, <laughs> out of all the bands that you opened for, because I think Leonard Skinner, there was several that were. Um, what was one of the most memorable ones, Jay? It was. I mean, Skinner obviously was the most memorable one. You know that that's kind of like a wow, you know, they're a, you know, top five American band of all time. Uh, I guess I can so read that, was, yeah. But were they cool dudes? Yeah. We didn't get to meet them. <laughs> ah, see? <laughs> they, yeah. So they weren't cool I mean, dudes. <laughs> uh, it's all good. It's all yeah. good. They got, yeah, they got stuff to do, you know. We, you know, we were busy, we were busy, you know, making sure, dotting our eyes. Crossing our teeth. I'm glad you had the opportunity, but pfft, to Leonard Skinner. It was, it was all, it's all, we were just real, real pleased to be a part of that. Right. Um, now, the guys in Collective Soul were beautiful guys. I uh, got to meet them, actually. They were really great, great guys. Uh, who else have uh, has any on. have any of these bands that you guys have opened for that you did get to meet any of them give you any uh, like really good industry advice? Um, tips of the trade. No real tricks of the trade. I mean, just you know, like the one thing that we, you know, that we've learned from colleagues of ours, and uh, we point to the guys in the Clarks a lot. You know, they're they're a national band from Pittsburgh. Uh, they, you know, they just told us keep plugging away, keep sticking it out. You know, it takes a lot longer than you can imagine. You know, don't get frustrated, especially nowadays because the industry's changed so much since like a lot of these bands, you know, we've opened for, they broke out in the eighties or nineties and, you know, or even even the games changed since the early two thousands. We've been told it's just that the one thing that they can tell us that stays the same is, you know, continue to put the work in because there's that that will never that part of it will never change. Right, you, know, you have to put the work true. in. You know, and love the and we we use this phrase in the band a lot. Love the process. You know, love the process, yeah. and, and it's. Love it, the it, process, because you know what, Jay? That's going to come out, and I think it already does come out um, in your music. You're, there's a very authentic feel yeah, yeah, to you yeah. guys. Especially in today's climate yes. of everything being so formulaic. You guys yep. do not have that vibe at all. You know, you guys have a just a complete ass-kicking vibe, but, you know, you want to get out and you want to just shred some freaking rock and roll and... You know, do farm boy shit and yeah. blow something up, man. Yeah. That's, the, that's, the, that's the feeling I get. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Oh, Mad Cat I is agree. getting us psyched. Let's go. <laughs> We're, we'll loan you the Mad Cat the next time you got a concert. <laughs> get out there and blow up the refrigerator. We'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 you know, it's just it's it's kind of like the, you know that's the that's the nature of the beast, which we're, we're fine with. You know, it's just you know we want people to. You know, it's, when you go, especially when you see us live, it's not just uh, it's not just the music; it's the feel. You know, you feel the you feel a, an energy coming, you know, emanating from the the stage, you know, back to you. And you know, it's just you see all those head bobbing, you know, and you just see them going, yes, yes, yes. You know, that's that's kind of like that's what it's know, about. We, you know, that's what Mad Cat yeah. says. That's what it's that's about. That's what it's all about. And it's, it's yeah, and that's I mean. It's fun. It's just it. It's fun, and that's when you stand there and you go, "Wow, this is the greatest job in the world." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen, Jay. I want to thank you for uh, spending some time with us here. We're going to end with your fi- final song, which is God. I can't read my own handwriting. Now no- or never. It's now, now or, or never. never. I don't think that's what no, they meant. I'm sure they don't. <laughs> so now or never. Where can they? Uh, Oh, we did want to mention you have an upcoming video. Can't release the date yet. So Can't say the have... date, but we, we did do a video. Um, we can tell people now, I guess, uh, for the uh, for the song Wanted Man. 
uh, we and we put some pictures out, little teasers out on on our Instagram. And, and uh, your what's your handle for Instagram, August. Jay? Our handle for Instagram is at the Hawkeyes. At the Hawkeyes. At the Hawkeyes. And what yep. about your website? Is the Hawkeyes dot com? No, it's actually HawkeyesBand.com. Okay. So HawkeyesBand.com. Check out the Hawkeyes Mm -hmm. on Facebook and at Hawkeyes Band. At the Hawkeyes. At At the the Hawkeyes. 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 (laughs) I see. (laughs) As long as one of your platforms tells us where we can find the rest of your stuff, you're going to be in good hands. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so with that, uh, is there anything you want to say about now or never? No, never is. Um, it's just, a, I always say that that's a song about one of the easiest but toughest things to do in life, and that's making a decision. Oh. You know well put. All right, well, I'm going to make a decision and say good night. And I want to thank you so much for uh, sharing your music with us and entering to be on the show because I'm really grateful that we had the opportunity to Absolutely. share. Absolutely. It's, it's nice to know that there's, there's still some just straightforward in your oh, face rock and roll out there, man. Well, well, we can't do it, Pittsburgh Steelers. We did have me at Pittsburgh Steelers, but still, it doesn't matter. He's still kicking out some freaking great rock and roll, and that's what's up. <laughs> There you go. And uh, if you're if you're doing any Pittsburgh, um, you know, driving shows or anything live, definitely tag us or let us know. And I'm down for a road trip. Okay. Yeah, Absolutely. me too. Yeah, and when when things get back to normal, we got to come out and see you guys in the Poconos, eh? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. With that, I'm going to say good night. Take a listen to Now or Never by the Hawkeyes, and we'll be right back with the rest of the show.
Check it out, Anne. You know, I know sometimes bands don't really want to get into the nitty gritty of stuff. They just want to play music. They just want to rock. But there's got to be somebody on the team that's got to step up and pay attention to things like this, like your social media handles, like, you know, gig bookings. And, and, and there, there's just so much that goes into being a band. And one of the most important things should be on top of your radar is branding. And sometimes you might need to just take a step back and really think about your band. Um, branding is, by definition, a visual representation of your identity, which is of your band, right? Um, and sometimes when your branding is just right, we don't really even need to know anything else. We don't even need to hunt you down on social media because your brand kind of tells us your story. Um, we're your tribe. We're your fans. We're your community. And your brand is doing its job, or the thought that went into the branding is doing its job if we feel like we're a part of what you represent. Just let that sink into your head for a little bit. So anyway, just wanted to bring that uh, to everybody's attention and do some research. Google a couple things. Check out YouTube. There's a lot of information and tutorials and, and all kinds of... And people really do pay attention to photos <laughs> oh yes yes very much so so that's part of your brand you yeah. know like if you if i go to a page or i go to a website and there's like some i don't know kodak moment that from i don't know like many years ago that you think is an ideal situation mm -hmm. uh, let me burst your bubble and say it's not <laughs> right <laughs> correct get yeah. a photographer Get a friend that knows his way around a camera and get some band shots taken. Because when when you start to make it and when you start to push up, because yeah, that's the goal. Just even leveling up to the next level. Um, You've got to have good photos yeah. for that poster and, and everything. It's Yeah. You need your good brand photos. Is your Logo. brand is yeah, your brand is super, super important. And it's really it's really hard. And and I you know, just on Instagram because Instagram is really pushing that whole thought process of um, if you're a small business, because essentially if you're a band, you kind of are a small business. You should be treating yourselves as a small business because you want to grow, right? You want to make money. You want to get your music heard. You want to level up and go to the next, you know, whatever level that might be, you know, despite what's going on right now in 2020. Um, you know, hopefully 21 is going to be better and everybody can be on the road and doing live gigs. And um, so maybe actually now is a great time to take a take a breath and think about your marketing, your brand, your social media, making sure everything is tied together. Uh, and again, uh, online, there's just there's there's a lot of information that can kind of help you sort of navigate or at least lay the foundation of branding. And um, if you have a question, you can always email Bo absolutely. at thebalconyshow dot com. Right? That's it. Yep. Absolutely. Bo Balcony Show at gmail.com. I think that's go. the email. So anyway, so I hope that um, that helps somebody out there. And, um, and as you know, the weeks go by, we'll be talking more about it. Maybe we'll pick some other topics that have something to do with branding to help you guys out and dive in a little bit deeper. So we'll catch you guys next week on Indie Radar right here on the balcony. I'd like to remind you that The Balcony Show is proudly produced by Sound Mind Recording Studio. For all your musical production needs, check them out at soundmindrecording.com. Up next is another great song from a band out of Baltimore, Bad Marriage. We're going to take a listen to their song, Miss Outrageous, and we'll be right back. Rewriting, recreating the same old programs over and over and over. <laughs> to modern times.
Sure, I'll be your back door man Cats Mad Tracks, we have the song Ever On by Tiger Kid. No, not Tiger King. This kid ain't going to jail. He is the Tiger Kid, and the song is Ever On, so sit down, give it a listen. Here we go.
you're back on the balcony show. Oh, yes, you are. We have <laughs> And we have come to another end of an episode of hijinks and tomfoolery as usual. Yes, yes we did. <laughs> tomfoolery. I like I've always liked that word. Tomfoolery. Tomfoolery. Yes. And words that we cannot say on the air. No. Oh. It should be like an episode in itself. Things you cannot say. Oh, well, that would be so much we're fun. We're definitely going to have to do... It'd be like 60 minutes behind of... Behind the scenes now. <laughs> yeah. this, this could hurt our image. We have to do behind the scenes. Yeah. 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 But anyways, I want to thank you guys for being with us. And if you're interested in getting on the show, thebalconyshow.com. Check us out. Send your music to thebalcony at outlook.com and we will take a listen. And if we like what we hear, we will be in touch. Sounds good. Yeah, Does that's that a true sound? story. It's a true story. It really is. It is. And no better place to share your independent music. Yeah. Yep. So, with that said, I am ready to get out of here. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. You know, man, like I'm, I'm you know, yeah, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's all. Let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, I don't know, man. I feel like I could just sit here and shoot the breeze for another twenty hours. Yeah, but, you, know. Well, you know what? That's and hard say because bad words. we haven't. Yeah, we haven't seen each other in a while, so we're yeah. all happy to be yeah. back here and uh, giving you the best mm. in independent music as usual. But our sound guy's leaving uh, on a jet plane. Well, he almost wasn't leaving. Yeah. <laughs> he almost was walking to Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He with a thumb, a big thumb. Took, took a left turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see if he can survive the tequila down there. Oh, oh he's going to be hurting. I make think, sure when you he tell us some back. stories there, there, Captain Cooter. <laughs> so, anyways, with that, I'm going to say goodnight to the two of you, and we're going to end things tonight with a song from Swirl, and the name of the song is Rise Up. So, say goodnight, kids. Goodnight, Good kids. kids. <laughs> <laughs> goodnight, everybody from the Balcony Show. We'll catch you next week. Peace. See ya. You got your boots, you got your suits, the attitude from the outside. All right. House on a hill, another shot, another bill. Do whatever it takes just to make it through the day. Handcuffed in gold, you've been bought, you've been sold Can't complain for the money you save So many times where you fall So many times we'll go away It's time for you to rise Set your sights on your life Escape your Only love